So this video is about why apply electrochemical principles to our world. Electrochemical operations are in all nature, in all living things, in cells, in plants, in animals and humans. It covers all of our scientific fields. It is a little bit like um, geometry is to mathematics. So this is the basic electrochemical cell we can look at, or battery. It is called a, a galvanic cell or a voltaic cell. It has four structural parts. The salt bridge in the center, the electrolyte in each of these containers, the anode, which is the negative side, the cathode, which is the positive side. It has three substances, salt, which is in the salt bridge, the electrolyte, which is a mixture of salt and water, and the sulfur is also in the electrolyte, and that is the reactionary uh, particle of the cell. So the anode side is the negative side and it, ha it is called the oxidization side. So it is losing electrons. The cathode side is the positive side and it's called the reduction side and it is gaining electrons. So the movement of electrons goes from negative to positive. Now transferring this battery over to our world, we can see the similarities. The central part here uh, I've represented as earth, which is the salt bridge. The electrolyte is the oceans. The anode is the moon and the cathode is the sun. So we can see these, uh, the three substances exist in our world. Um, in the salt bridge we have salt and potassium. In the oceans we obviously have salts but many other different products. And, and, and so we can see that the ions flow from negative, which would be the moon, to the positive, which would be the sun. So positive ions attract to the moon, negative ions attract to the sun. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was the different gradients in our world. So the, the first, we have a number of gradients, pressure gradients, charge gradients, elemental state, um, and frequency and temperature. So the pressure in our system goes high pressure to low pressure. The charge, according to this model, is high charge at the top and low charge down the bottom to a neutral which is the salt bridge. This is because ions exchange within the salt bridge. We have an elemental state um, as well in our world which is the elemental states are solid, liquid, gas and plasma. So we can see that this also applies to our world but we can also apply it directly to uh, this model as well. So the earth is solid, the electrolyte, liquid or oceans, moon, gas and sun.
plasma. And this also relates to the four elements. Earth, water, air, and fire. We also have, um, we can also look at it as, as in uh, bonded and unbonded as well. So solid is bonded elements, positive and negative, and they're bonded. Plasma is unbonded elements, ionized. So again, we can see that there's a, a level, a gradient from bonded particles up to a higher energy state to the plasma where they're unbonded. And this process is happening as well through these, through this operation. Also we have frequency which again is through the movement of ions but also because of light. The movement of the sun and the moon around each other over these, over the electrolyte and the salt bridge, is the equivalent of a pulsing of um, hot and cold. So the gradient of hot and cold and the gradient of light also pulses. So this pulsed light affects all gradients. Light and heat also are able to change um, the structure and chemical charge of elements. So there's a pulsing of temperature, there's a pulsing of light, there's a pulsing of heat and a pulsing of free frequency. So this is always in a state of um, movement of a sine wave. Anyway, I hope that sort of uh, fills in a little bit more about this system. Um, thanks for watching.